Hello everybody and welcome to this new Yu-Gi-Oh card market watch right after YCS Bohum. Um, since the top decks are have been quite uh, unexpected, there would be some cards that I didn't um, I didn't plan to to review this time. So let's jump into it. The first card that I want to talk about is Millennium Ice Restrict. That is a new ultra rare card that is kind of, that came out in um, Legendary Duelist. Um, to this pack too and it's sitting around between around around seven euros um and it's a, it's a very important card in my opinion uh, of course it's another target of eastern fusion and i think that right now is the most powerful since you can use this in the same way that we will use called by the grave or designator from the grave whatever you call it and it's it's actually a temporary substitute of of that card until the special edition of Extreme Force comes out in the end of March, I think. Yeah, I think that it should be ar around the 21st of March. Um, so yeah, this card inter uh, negates the effect of Monster in the Grave or your opponent uh, by, uh, by, uh, by um, uh, equipping them to, to itself. So since the end traps are cost, you can actually chain this card to cards like Ghost Ogre, Ghost Reaper, and Ash Blossom, and then um, equipping them, you actually negate the same effect that is uh, that has been just activated. Uh, so um, yeah, it's a powerful card that you should have right now. And remember that this card is an ultra rare for from Legendary Duelist, so it won't see a rare print in the near future. Um, so about the prices, uh, it's, it's sitting around 7 euros again and sliding down here you can find a lot of copies that you can see by several power sellers. For example, we love to collect as 5 copies for 7 euros and Way Magic Bubblegum, I have a lot of copies of them. Of course you don't need a playset of this unless you're, you are planning to, to play uh, the Restrict Archetype. Um, so yeah, this card is it's, its price is quite fair to be honest, so yeah, I think it it's worth it worth its price. The next card is Heavy Metal Force Electrum, and and its price is starting to go down a little bit. Um, we've seen that this card that reached fi fifty five euros, almost sixty, but now it's down to fifty, and not a big gap, but still, um, a Mox PT as a power seller, a professional seller, uh, six copies of it for 50 euros in English, near me in first edition. So yeah, um, I think that this card will continue to go down a little bit in price, in price since there are a lot of decks that can compete right now and also um, the, the Wessis Bogum hasn't been won by, by, uh, by Pendulum Magician but instead by um, War Chalice. Speaking of which, the next card that I want to talk about is Rise or Lee, the War Chalice Fairy, that was around before the West, yes, around one euro and fifty, but now has doubled in price and even reached the five euros, as you can see here. So the first place that you can find is from is an is an English one, is an Italian one, sorry, by Card Store Alcamo. Ah, oh, we we already seen this uh, this uh, this seller. Um, before and it's uh, it, it gives them for five euros and fifty and it has five copies. Again, there is Biggie eighteen ninety three that has three copies for six euros. Um, German Mint, not in first edition by the way. So yeah, I think that this card will go up again and uh, it's it's uh, the the entire world Chalice archetype is successful to. Um, uh, to possible uh, supports in the next in, in the next sets because it's a dual terminal card uh, an archetype sorry um, so yeah I think that you if, if you're planning to to, uh, to to play this to play this deck um, I think that you should buy a, I think that you should immediately buy this card um, another card that has been playing in World Chalice deck is the Sarija Skulldred and its price is uh, quite quite high and it's sitting around 35 euros and you can find a lot of copies here 
uh, the first power seller is just Jot Jotka that has five copies for 34 euros in German. Um, then there are Mox, there is Mox P T that has four copies for 35 euros almost in English language. Um, the next cards that I want to talk about are the the two secret rare magnites. Uh, first of all, blue sky that is sitting around eight euros and nine, um, between eight euros and nine. And the first place that you can find here is from just Jotka again that sell them for straight 9 euros in German. Uh, there are a lot of copies down here. Uh, you can find uh, Edikra that has two of them for 10 euros. Iman that has just one copy for 10 euros too. Other two copies for 10 euros from Bubblegum. So yeah, there are a lot of them as you can see down here too. So um, I think that the Magnite's archetype um, are quite, quite good, but now they are they are doing well just because of of Edelon, and I think that in the future, uh, without further support, we won't do anything relevant. So if you already have these cards, I, I I suggest you to sell them. Also because we are near again um, the special edition of Extreme Forces nearby, so um, the all the prices will go down. So selling this card is quite convenient. But yeah, also if you if you're planning to play this this archetype right now, so yeah, um, of course you shouldn't you, sh you shouldn't sell this card, but it's up to you. The next card, as I said, is another Mike Knight card, the the other secret rare, uh, Purple Nightfall, and it's sitting around almost the same price. Um, but down here, um, I can see uh, the first place at oh yeah. Um, the first playset is from the Tabernacle, and uh, are German, and if for 11 euros, but there are a lot of two or one of here uh, from Heman, for example, for 11 euros, by Kavin for 10 euros and 40. Yeah, there are a lot of copies of it, and yeah, as I said, we it's the same for it's just the same for uh, Blue Sky. If you're planning to play this archetype, buy it, keep it. But otherwise, I, I suggest you to give it away. The next cards are <laughs> the Shadow Engine and the Shadow Fusion. Oh my god, it's, uh, it's a quite high price. I'm sitting around 14 uh, for the price stand, but the first place it um, for, from a power seller, of course, I think that is around 15 euros. Yeah, here from Carlos Games, uh, 15 euros for three copies each of course and they are in Italian mint uh, there are a lot of uh, one-off as you can see here some places from no power seller uh, but yeah um, cards mania as one copy for 13 euros um, so yeah the price is quite high and I don't think uh, that in the near future will go down unless uh, a rare print will come up but uh, I doubt of it. I I doubt of about that, and yeah, this engine is quite important. Be, uh, not only in the um, in the dinosaur uh, strategy, but quite in general. And also, we don't have yet a shadow construct that is the link monsters, uh, the, link, the link monster, and maybe one day, in, uh, sooner or later, construct will be unbanned. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So the price is quite high and it won't go go uh, go down. So maybe you should buy this card, but it's already too late to be honest. The same goes with uh, El Shadow Winda that is sitting around 13 euros as a price stand as you can see here. But down here the first like two of you you can find are from Junk's Playground, they are in Italian and there are for, and they are sitting for 14 euros. There are uh, some other copies here, one, uh, two half, three half from Junk's Playground to in American version for 15 euros. So also Winda is, uh, also Winda's price is quite high, but of course if you buy Shadow Fusion, you have to buy also Shadow Winda, uh, unless you already have this of course. But yeah, uh, Winda is, is right now the most important card, not because it's a 
meta breaking card because of course just being able to summon uh, because being able to summon just a special summon just one time for a turn is um is quite effective and also is not destructible to by card effect and being a uh, being a dark monster you can find uh, you can send directly from your deck um overtake scotless that uh, add you adds you um, uh, the evolution pill, the double evolution pill that lets you summon from the deck uh, ultimate conductor Tirana. So yeah, Shadow Fusion going second is a one card Shadow Window plus Conductor. That of course is a pretty good and powerful opening. The next cards, uh, the next couple of cards are falling in the category of the 60 cards strategy. The first of all, first of all, we will talk about left arm offering that hasn't been reprinted yet. But I think I think that it will be reprinted in the Legendary Collection Mega Pack uh, because it hasn't got a reprint. And in that uh, in that set, we will see also the reprint of Card Demise that came out from t the Millennium Pack as left arm offering here. So um, the price tend is sitting around twenty euros, and it's really really hard to find a place at down here. And I think that there is just one, yeah, from ten. Oh no, not just one, but the first one is for uh, twenty euros by Lotti Cards, and you can find one, five card, five copies of it for twenty five, twenty one and seventy five euros by even ninety five and ninety five. Um, two in English, three in German. The price is quite high, and it's really hard to find this card. There are not um, really important uh, e events nearby, except for the uh, event, um, some regionals, of course. But if you want to straight play this deck right now, you of course I I, I suggest you to buy this card because it's really hard. It's really rare to find. And finding a, a playset down here, um, it's quite fortunate. But if you're not planning to do any events, I suggest you to sell this card or to not buy this card because it will probably be reprinted or it has a chance to be reprinted in the Legendary Collection Mega Packs. The same goes with the Grass Looks Greener that hasn't been reprinted in the Mega Packs of 2017. And maybe as just the legendary dragon with uh, Dwelly Stallions, it will be reprinted in the legend uh, in the legendary collection of Me uh, Mega Pack of Kaiba, of course. Its price is in around eleven and twelve, and you can find six copies from Purple Shark in American for ten euros and seventy five. I think they're enough, but down here there is also Cardmania that has one copy for eleven euros and Cardman that has six copies for 12 euros. So this card is also quite expensive, not quite, uh, not just like a left arm offering, but maybe, just maybe in the future, uh, TCG, uh, Konami TCG will follow the, um, um, the, the Konami OCG, maybe uh, putting a free, the grass looks greener and limiting or banning uh, fairy tales no because that's the card that should be hit in my opinion because it's it's so powerful and also um, eating uh, snow will let uh, construct to come back because of course the most powerful thing right now uh, by con uh, from construct is the fact that you can send from your deck which had a fusion a light monster not its effect of course because the game has changed and yeah all this stuff. Uh, that's it, but before, um, before closing the video, I want to talk as always the top 10 of the, um, of the weeks, of the week. Um, the, first uh, the first place is, um, is taken by Pot of Desire, the second by Overtex Cotters that I talked to before, uh, Millenniumized Restrict that is top 3, Ancient Gear Megaton Golem, I don't know why this card is here, but maybe some fans of Ancient Gear, I shout out to them over there. Uh, number 41, yeah, still here, of course, it's a powerful car. Uh, we have this new entry, Re Lee, the World Chalice Fairy. And next, Sarija, um, uh, of course, it's a really powerful card, really expensive card too. 
and uh, also we've seen this card be summoned in, in a really wrong way a lot of time this weekend in at YCS Bochum but yeah at the finals at least <laughs> uh, he he played his part let's say let's put it that way then there is Rainbow Hover Dragon beautiful artwork in my opinion but pretty underwhelming Effort Vader that I've seen in some plays recently and finally Proxy Dragon so yeah that's it for today guys and if, I hope you did you like this video if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and see you next time